Welcome to the ABB new series of videos for the ACH 550 drives. My name is Greg Bozeski and today's video will be discussing the replacement of the SMIO control board. All SMIO replacement boards should come with this documentation which tells you how to replace the control board and size the board to the, to the drive. Following the steps and the instructions provided, first thing to do is stopping the drive and backing up the parameters if this is not possible. Most of the time this step is not possible because there's something wrong with the SMIO board already and we cannot back up the parameters anymore. First, to copy the parameters from the drive to the keypad, you'll need to press the off button to put the drive in local mode. Press the menu button Scroll up to Parameter Backup, Power Backup, press Select. Choose Upload to Panel, press Select. This will copy the parameters from the drive to the keypad so we can download them after we get the control board swapped out. Once done, press the OK key. Download the parameters to the, to the drive. You will press, make sure the drive is in local mode. Press menu. Press par backup. Press download full set. Parameters will be backed up into the drive. Once this is done with backing up the parameters, shut off the power to the drive and let it die out. Please refer to the manual for regarding the safety procedures before opening the drive. Remove the keypad from the drive if it has already not been done so. In this case, I have removed the keypad. Use a screwdriver to remove the screw under the keypad, located here. Under the warranty sticker, remove the skeleton. Prior to removing the skeleton, you will need to use a static grounding strap. Next, we need to remove the stud that holds the board. To remove the skeleton, we're going to use a screwdriver to push these two tabs out, lifting up and rotating this way with the skeleton. Once the skeleton is out of the way, the factory will have glue on this connector. Remove the glue, removing both of these ribbon cables. Now that we have this the SMIO board and skeleton off, we need to remove the SMIO board from the skeleton. There are several clips in here that you'll need to remove. One, two, three. To remove this, you'll need to push down and lift up on the skeleton on the SMIO board. The SMIO board will then come out of the case. Once the SMIO board is removed, you'll see the glue here. We need to remove this glue and remove these two ribbon cables. Now the SMIO board is removed.
take your new board and reassemble. Before installing the new SMIO board, you will need to reinstall the ribbon cables, making sure you take your time not to bend the pins as you do this. Once the ribbon cables are reinstalled onto the control board, we need to take the control board and put it back into the skeleton. The edge where the numbers are, where the terminal strips are, need to go on the outside of this edge right here. Carefully slide this into place, making sure that the edge of the control board can be seen through there. Next, there are three clips again that you need to make sure that these are in place for the control board to be seated properly. Once you have the SMIO board seated with all three clips in place, we will now take the skeleton and place it onto the main frame of the drive. To do this, we need to make sure that we put the two ribbon cables back where they came from and make sure we do not bend the pins when we reinsert the ribbon cables. Once completed, we will rotate the assembly back over to the main frame of the drive, making sure that all the wires clear easily. Once that is secure, put the, ground, put the ground stud back in. And we will re put the screws back in for the frame. Place the outer skeleton on the drive. Tighten down the screw. Insert the keypad and you are done. Once you remove and put the new SMI board in, you will have to configure the drive size. The R1 through R4 drive sizes should auto configure when you power up. Once you power up the drive, the startup wizard will pop up and ask you if you want to use it. Just select no for now and then it will ask you if you want to use the startup wizard again on the next power up. Select yes or no. You can verify the drive size by viewing parameter 3304. If you're unsure of the drive size, you will need to look at the side of the drive where the ABB label is. You can find the label here. To configure the drive size, power up the drive and press the menu key to go into group 01. Once inside group 01, 
you'll need to press and hold the up and down arrow key and the escape key at the same time until the keypad blinks once. Release your fingers. Escape button one time. Scroll up to group 105 and press select. Scroll down to group 10 or parameter 10509. Press select. Change the value based on the instructions for the size of drive you had. Press select or save. Scroll up to parameter 10502 and edit. Change the value to 1 to save the parameter. The value will change automatically back to 0. Cycle the power of the drive. You can validate your settings by going to parameter 3304. and you can see the parameter settings right there. If you have any questions, please contact Drive Tech Support at Drive Support Line at us at abb.com or call 1-800-752-0696, option one, option one. Thank you.